Ido, brother, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, brother. Good to see you. Yeah, we've met, uh, we met a couple of years ago at the shows back and forth. Um, obviously, I've seen you know, the machine that you sell and what you do, and we've become friends throughout the years. Just, I think that I become friends with all the vendors, right? You go from show to show to show, you hang out, uh, people are learning something, so we have some time to chat. And uh, we, we just, we've had a great connection, so I appreciate your friendship, and I appreciate your time being on, on today. Likewise, I appreciate your, uh, your uh, friendship as well, and, and beside that, the family as well. Awesome. Uh, Morris is a good friend of mine, and, uh, and it's, it's good to see you, and uh, I think it's a very um, good subject and very serious subject which, when you're talking about the lab growing diamond. For and sure. The- for sure. So let's kind of, before we get into the, all that stuff, let's get into the history, right? Uh, give us a brief history of your time, you know, in diamonds and jewelry and how you got into the pawn industry selling the Sherlock Holmes by Yehuda. So I'm 35 years in the business. Uh, yeah, when I released from the army in Israel and, and you know, I born and raised in Israel, and it's a mandatory to go to the army. Um, you know, uh, diamond cutting is, was always fascinating for me. I sat down on a wheel for eight and a half years, actually um, cutting diamond by myself. Oh, so you're, all, you're also a diamond cutter? Absolutely. All the aspect of the diamond from yeah. A to Z. And then um, I went to learn um, rough. Uh, and then I become to be a GG, gemologic from the GIA. We have a course in Israel many years ago. And I become to be, um, you know, uh, members on in Israel side, the Bourse Exchange in Israel. And to be uh, there, uh, you got to have all of the track uh, in the business. Uh, I didn't have any family in the business related to getting. So I'm still, till this day, I have the manufacturer uh, license uh, in Israel as well. And um, know the, the family, the Yehuda family for, oh my God, 27, maybe more than a year, doing a lot of stuff together uh, from, you know, cutting and, and selling and buying. And um, they reach out with all the stuff that they're doing. And uh, I love the idea uh, of the Sherlock Holmes. Uh, we know the problem with the industry as far as the, you know, um, the love growing diamond, the synthetic and um, falling in love in the idea. Uh, and you know how they sell. Well, you believe in your product, you can sell it easy. Yeah. Easy, man. It's just, you just the passion is coming with the, with the belief. Um, and when we thought together, how can we reach out? Um, you know, I'm in the business for many years and I have tons of, of customers over the years. Uh, and I came up with the idea with the pawn brokers. I said, hey, you know, pawn brokers, it's, it's like, you know, in Vegas when you're hitting the machine, it's the gling, gling, gling. So that's, what, that's, what, that's exactly what it was for me. And everybody liked it. And I started uh, reaching out to uh, NPA. I uh, become to be a member. And then I met uh, key people out of there. Sam Shockett, for instance, I met him and he bought the machine uh, right on the spot. And he is, loved the machine and he introduced me to a lot of people. Jane Schneider, for instance, also you know the Yehuda family for many years, and she has the machine as well. And on and on and on, I can give some names. I've become to be a member for Kappa after that, and um, it's working very, very well. Nice. Uh, the machine is really matched to the pawn broker, no question about it, because pawn broker is uh, dealing with that constantly, every day. So Behind let's... The- Let's kind of go back. Let's talk about um, the need for the machine, right? We've had some people on the show before who talked about what's going on in the industry with CVD and HPHD, right? And the fact that a lot of these stones are coming through our doors as palm brokers, and either we don't know how to detect them, you know, so we're taking them in and we're losing money on the pawn, or we're actually selling it to the public without knowing it that that we're actually selling these stones. So give us a, a quick breakdown on on you know, what's happening in the pawn industry, some mistakes that you're seeing that pawn brokers are making, you know, taking these stones in. And then we'll kind of talk about like the technology that's out there to stop uh, or to basically find out if we're taking in these types of stones or not. All right. So uh, let's break it down for one to one. Uh, just to let you know for statistic, um, and it's coming from the GIA, uh, the Chinese is dumping over 200,000 carat a month. Wow. 
which is huge. And th I thought to start with that to make sure that the pawnbroker industry and all the industry retail stores as well know exactly what's going on, mainly with the small goods, mainly with melee goods, half a point and up to 10 points, which is the major problem there. Uh, this is from GIA report. Um, now, the liability that the pawnbroker has, it's huge. And I'm going to give you an example. Let's assume somebody coming to their door and try to say, hey, can you repair that ring for me? And if they don't have the right equipment to check the ring, there's a problem right there. Next day, they repair it. If it resizes to one stone, uh, they need to replace one stone. They would give it back to the customer. The customer can come back and say, hey, where is my stone? You switch my stone. That's one problem. Another problem is if they have a loan to make in front of them. So they need to, to know what they're buying, correct? What they're loaning against to. And if they don't know, they can make a huge mistake because yeah. if they loan um, money for a diamond ring, which is not a diamond ring, they lost money there. That's one time they lost money, the first time. The second time, if there's a default of the loan and they got the position of the ring and they're selling the back to the consumer and they think or they thought it bought a diamond ring and actually it's CVD or HPHT, synthetic diamond, there's another uh, problem there. They sold a diamond ring that they thought it's a diamond ring and actually maybe it's not. Yeah. Now, how you define which one it's what, if they don't have the right equipment, can be between the melee around the shank, can be the center diamond, can be a tennis bracelet, can be earring, can be anything. So it's very important that they, they will know the liability that they have. I mean, go figure. I mean, the, nobody wants to, to have some lawsuit and stuff like that. Well, I mean, can, can, I mean, you, just, can you just imagine like a, a bad Google review saying that I bought this from a pawn shop and it comes out to be a, you know, an HPH stone and then they, they screwed me out of $4,000. I mean, you can't, it's hard to recover from that. Sure. Very right? true. Correct. So now, when they buy that, they need to know. I mean, nothing wrong about buying, uh, you know, CVD on HPHT. I mean, it's there's a big market out there. It's yeah. going to be a huge market in the future. But when you know what you're buying, you know how to sell it. Yeah, yeah. And, and another another th uh, subject that is very important is they know that they need to check their inventory. Because at this point, nobody knows what they really have in the inventory, which is more important. Now, they have 10,000 items. Whatever the item, they need to check and make sure that they have the right machine to check. it. Because, you know, there's a lot of options out there. And everybody has the option to choose whatever they want to spend, whatever the budget is. I appreciate it. I respect it. Budget is very important. But... Another thing that's very important for the pawnbrokers and everybody else, please go and check and do your homework when you decide to buy the right equipment, the right detector. Make sure that you have the UL certificate from Project Assure. It's very, very important. Obviously, I'm here because I would like that everybody will buy my machine. Obviously, I mean, let's, let's face it. But the best advice that I'm giving you to everybody, please may make your homework. Do your homework and check that you must have the UL certificate from Project Assure. Now, now let me talk about something real quick. Obviously, it's super important. I've seen the machines, right? What I don't understand is, one, let's kind of talk about like why Yehuda invented the machine. Second of all, how does the freaking machine work? I mean, you put, you know, I've seen like you guys put like a bracelet in the little tray. You push the tray inside. There's like a, you know, like an iPad mini or there's like a little small iPhone or something that you know, the colors say, no, this is not a diamond. This is a CVD stone. Like this is crazy technology. Now, obviously technology costs money, but why did you would invent this? And the second part is how the heck does the technology work? A lot of people don't understand what it takes to put something like this together. And when I see it in, in person, I think to myself, how does this work? Listen, I don't think I'm a very smart guy, right? I think I'm a smart guy, but I don't even know how we're doing this over Zoom. 
right? How we're recording this. This is mind blowing to me. The machine is mind blowing to me. How does it work? You know, explain to us. Okay, so it's good. I mean, Yehuda Company, and I'm a, I'm proud to be um, related to them, and I'm proud to be uh, part of the family. I'm not blood related, but we are more than 27 years together with different aspect of the business. Um, Yehuda Company knows, uh, and which it's also very important to the phone broker, when you're choosing the company to go with, after you check, you check the UL certificate, make sure that the company has a backup. It's very important. I mean, because in the end of the day, after you spend your money, if uh, you need to know that, okay, uh, can I get the right um, answer what I need? Uh, service. It's yeah. very important for them. If they have any question, something wrong, they need to know that the Yehuda company and me, it's really, it's really uh, behind the product. I'm proud of the product. Yeah. I'm going to be there for them for any answer that they have, any doubt on the, the test which is very important. Yehuda is more than 45 years in the business. They already invent a few things in the market that till today it's working, until today they're pioneering in the invention of the, the industry. And for instance, um, you know, um, fracture field. They know about that. They, they invent the laser tree. Oh, wow. They have a color machine. They have a rough machine. So they're already in the industry for more than 45 years. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. We're here today, we're here to uh, give you the service and continue to develop the product. Yeah. And it's very important to the phone worker to understand, hey, you can trust us. We, we're here for you for any answer, any service, and we will continue to develop more and more the machines and give you more, you know, uh, better if there's anything out there. Yeah. Okay. Now, how now, does the machine work? The machine works on a short and, and, and long waves. Uh, the machine is is a very quick response. You're putting any any uh, rings. You can put up to five rings at the same time. Any bracelet, any necklaces, any earrings, any brooch, any even what even Rolex watches. If you have the dial diamond dial, you can put it in and check. A few seconds, you have an answer, and it's definitely answer. Either it's blue or any kind of shade of blue. You know it's natural diamond. If it's coming different color than blue. It's synthetic. It's a CVD or HPHT lab grown diamond. It's very easy, either blue or not blue. And so when you get it after a few seconds, you know what is it? Yeah. So you don't have to get any refer. You don't have to get to okay. Uh, it's refer. Go and send it to the lab. I don't have a. I don't have time in, in customer in front of me to send it to the lab. I need to know if I'm buying the product. How should I spend the money with if it's real or not or synthetic? And that's what I need to know. And I need an answer right in the spot. Got it. And so obviously you've been to a lot of pawn shops since you started in the pawn industry. Cool. What mistakes are you seeing that pawn brokers are making when it comes to, you know, lab grown stones and even natural stones sometimes? What mistakes are they making? The, obviously, the obvious one is not having a machine to be able to test. Right. But we've talked about how a lot of times you walk into a pawn shop, you'll take out a machine, you'll put something from the retail um, showcase in and it comes up as a CBD or an HPHC. So it's Correct. already in the showcases. Correct. So we discussed about it earlier that I said that, um, you know, defined uh, the product. It's very important to know what you have and how to sell it back to the consumer if you need to sell it. Uh, and again, I'm coming back to the liability. So uh, the common mistake that they have, if they're looking at the machine, they know how good the machine is, but okay, they're talking about money. I don't know uh, how to explain that. Uh, when they're coming to invest in, in any kind of equipment, it's looked to me that they have a second thought, but and which is, which is okay, okay, which is okay. But you need to know that the, the diamond tester is the most important to have the right one. There's other option out there. So the other option that a cheaper one, you cannot check in one time the 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 ring or the bracelet or the item that you have in front of you. You have to go again and again and again. If it's a prop, how can you test with a prop such a small diamond? If they have a ring with 20 diamonds around, it's, it's gonna take you t some time. Do you have the time? Do you need a machine that you can 100% trust 
and know that any test that you're going to have, you're going to get the right answer. That's and great. I can give everybody a lot of names from the industry already, over 200 names. It's, it's a lot for a year and a half. Good leading people in the industry that have my machine. Yeah. And using that again and again, 70, 100 times a day. Because, yeah, I mean, we have stones coming in all the time, right? We have stones coming all the time. Wow. We better check it out. Yeah. And a lot of palm brokers, you know, say, oh, I'm really, really good. I mean, obviously, we, you know, they say, oh, I can tell. I can tell the difference, right? No. Eagle, no, you can't. I understand it's a very good question. No, you can't. I mean, no, you can't. It's not Moissanite. It's not CZ. We have a really um, lab-growing diamond that really almost close to reality, almost close to natural. And it's not, you cannot define it. You cannot, even in a loop, you cannot see that. Yeah. That's why you must have the machine. It's common, it's common mistake to say, oh, I'm a, uh, I'm a gemological. I'm, I, 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 have, I don't want to say names, but I have a, a, a big chain store that the guy going back and forth with me and say, I were, I'm 40 years in the business. I know what I'm saying. I can't define it. With all due respect, you can't. Yeah. You can't. That's why we invent the machine. That's why it's important. I'm 35 years in a business. I sat on the wheel. I, it's, it's so tough for me to define it. I have to really focus, really do it. And you know what? I can make a mistake. Yeah. I can make a mistake. I have the machine here in front of me, right here. Okay? I, I'm not going to make mistake. I'm not going to estimate. I'm not going to guess anymore. Machine pushing the button few seconds, I know what is it. Yeah, I think once, wow. once we get our ego out of the way sometimes, okay. and this is for anything, anything technology-wise, even like with my coaching, right? A lot of people say, oh, I, I know everything I need to know. Well, what if I gave you one little piece of information that grew your business by 15%? So for the palm brokers listening out there, put your ego aside for a second and stop thinking that, you, that we know it all because it's the biggest mistake in business thinking that you know it all. And the moment that you realize, man, I don't know it all, that's the moment that you can ask for help. That's the moment that you invest in better technology. That's the moment that you can, you know, create better culture in your teams and all this type of stuff that we're talking about with Ido, which obviously I see, you know, at the last show we were talking, Ido, I had people coming up to me and saying, hey, what do you think about, you know, Ido? I said, one, I think he's a stand-up guy. And two, stop being a cheapskate. Like, I understand we need to save some money, but what if you bought, you know, a two-carat stone that was, not natural, and it came out of your pocket. So, you know, this has been incredible. I just want people to understand that one, one you really care about the, you really care about the industry, and well, I, it's and it's not easy to sit in front of pawnbrokers and try to sell them something at the price point that you have it. So, one, I respect you for that. It's not easy whatsoever. But I see the passion that you and your wife especially have during the shows, and. I think that translates into the quality of the machine, the quality of the service. And that's why obviously that I have you on the show. So. I, I really thank you for saying that. I really believe, and the key here is the word believe. I really believe in the machine. I really believe in the industry. I really believe that I'm bringing really value to our home worker friends. And, and, and I really appreciate you say, put the ego aside for a second. And you need, to, uh, you need to think, really to think to the future, really think really above for a second, out of the box, because the technology is leading us. The technology is so fast. Obviously, if we're not, we, don't, we, we didn't have to deal with the lab growing diamond these days. So we need to protect ourselves from the future, from the technology. Technology is going forward, not going back. Yeah. So every time the people trying to beat us with different equipment, different invention. So we need to prepare ourselves. So it's it's the old good days is gone. We gotta figure out how to protect ourselves. Yeah. There's a lot of pawn brokers, second generation, third generation, fifth generation, and on and on and on. You don't want to get hurt. So you need to protect yourself. And that's not, uh, there's no other way that I understand how to protect my business if I don't have the right equipment. Got it. It's very important. Yeah. Do your research, figure out what you need, and think about one thing. One diamond 
that you miss and you bought it as a diamond, you're going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, $6,500 is going to be very, uh, not going to be expensive anymore. Yeah. You yeah. made a mistake. So do your research, do your homework. Or one, or one lawsuit because you sold a one carat diamond thinking it was natural. Mm -hmm. And the customer came in and went to the news and said, look, pawn shops are screwing. I mean, it's not just you. It's also the whole industry. Right, we've got to take care of the pawn family, which is what I talk about here. So, you know, this this has been amazing, brother. I love hanging out with you at the shows. I want people to reach out to you. So, if you want to get a hold of Ido, you can either go to yehuda.com. Uh, his email just is Ido I D O at yehuda.com. That's y e h u d a dot com, or you can reach him on his cell phone seven zero two five two three six nine eight two for as many questions as you need. Listen, obviously, I bought Ido on the show because. Uh, Ido's a great friend and I believe in the product, but you've got to do your research and don't sit here and just say, I don't need a machine, right? True. Make the good investment, make, do your homework. But I remember back in the day, either I'm going to, I'm going to pause for a second. I remember back in the day, pawn brokers saying, I don't need software to do pawns. Mm -hmm. Like where would people be without software today? I don't need camera systems in my store. Well, yes, you do. Yes, so this is just one more thing that we need as pawnbrokers to be able to protect our business, to be able to protect our reputation, cool. and to be able to protect our industry. So either it's been a pleasure and honor, brother. I thank you. One more thing that I would like to add, if you don't mind, is the fact that uh, for me, as, as part of Yehuda that's selling the machine, everybody needs to understand, I'm not here only to sell you. You need to know that you have a, a phone number to call if you have any question either me or to the office in New York, any email. Uh, the new machine, the 2.0, has the ability also to export every test to their own uh, G drive. You actually can connect the new machine to your networking. You can save every picture, you can email me, you can email to the customer, you can print in front of your customer the results and put it in your doc lock, uh, document yeah. loan. Or, nice. And you can go also and print all your inventory and test it and make sure that they, every, every each of the, the inventory that you have been tested by the Sherlock Holmes. And you know that if somebody comes in in the future say, hey, I bought it from you six months ago, uh, it's not a diamond. You're going back to your, your file and, hey, buddy, I check it by uh, Sherlock Holmes. It's, it is what it is. It's, it's real diamond. Somebody awesome. else just said. Uh, so okay. it's very important to me, the service, is there for you guys for any question that you have call my cell phone call to the office meal anybody there professional enough to give you any advice that you need okay you know thank you so much and for those of you who are listening stay tuned for the next episode of the pawn leaders podcast also if you're not in the pawn leaders podcast community on facebook go to facebook.com today go to pawn leaders podcast community we've got close to 700 members just talking leadership marketing and strategy and of course either we'll be there to ask you know answer any questions that you have Ido, once again, brother, I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon in California. Brother, yeah, next right. month. Take care. Take care, man.